The findings of an independent investigation into the case against death row inmate Richard Glossop are released tonight. Now, one state lawmaker is pushing for Glossop's case to be retried. Fox 25's Wayne Stafford was at today's press conference. He's with us right now. So, Wayne, could the findings today actually spare Glossop's life? Well, Dan, I asked that same question and got mixed answers. Glossop has been behind bars for 25 years, and Oklahoma Representative Kevin McDougal says that he's innocent. We've got an individual sitting on death row that's been there 25 years, and I believe he's totally innocent. A visibly emotional representative, Kevin McDougal, presenting the findings of an independent investigation to save a man's life. National law firm Reed Smith says that they reviewed 12,000 documents, interviewed new witnesses, and found new evidence, concluding Richard Glossop is innocent. No reasonable juror hearing the complete record and the uncovered facts detailed in this report would have convicted Richard Glossop of capital murder. Glossop was convicted of the 1997 murder of Barry Van Trees. Glossop has exhausted all of his appeals and is number two on the state's execution list, which could start back up as early as August. What happens now? Can this, you know, stop this execution from happening? I don't know. You know, we are not counsel for Mr. Glossop. He has counsel. Um, and frankly, I don't know what the next step is. Representative McDougal did say that they can file another appeal, but said if nothing happens. If we put Richard Glossop to death, I will fight in this state to abolish the death penalty simply because the process is not pure. Representative McDougal went on to say more legislation is needed. I do believe in the death penalty. I believe it needs to be there, but the process to take somebody to death had better be of the highest integrity. This is a wrong done by Oklahoma that we have got to turn around and get right. It is now in the hands of Attorney General John O'Connor to call for a new hearing into this case. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story for the latest updates. Back to you.